Hello, welcome to the second weekly male pregnancy blog. A lot of people ask questions about what I was doing, and I'm going to try to answer them now. Also, I'm going to talk about my experiences as I sort of go out and about my daily sort of life, and as far as this is concerned. So I've written it all down because, you know, it's brain fog, result of this little person here. And, um, yeah, well, basically, what can I remember? Let's talk about the risks and that sort of thing first, and a few questions that people ask me. The first thing is, uh, what are the risks? Well, the risks are basically retained placenta in the greater momentum. Greater momentum is a layer of fat, a curtain of fat in which the baby has been implanted. So it's in there somewhere. If it survives, there are the risks of sort of retained placenta, or the placenta can get tangled up with the blood vessel sort of thing, I think. And, and then there can be hemorrhage, or there could be necrosis of the placenta tissue, so basically there's stuff decaying inside you, and that's not a good thing. Um, I actually think the bigger risk, to be honest, is annoying a lot of women with what I'm doing, because I sort of feel like I'm stepping over a boundary here. That's uh, perhaps something a, a bloke shouldn't be doing. It's also been mentioned that I'm big for dates. I'm actually 18 weeks. Now, I've got a few possible explanations for that, some of which are a little bit worrying. One of them is that I'm actually two weeks ahead because women's pregnancies are measured from the last menstrual period. Obviously, I don't have periods, so I'm measuring mine from the 28th of November. And as a result, I will be slightly bigger, but I shouldn't really be this big. And I'm not, by the way, I'm not bending myself forward, you see that's like that. So yes, I am big, and it is a little bit worrying because of possible explanations. One of them is polyhydramnios, which is excessive amniotic fluid. An excessive amniotic fluid is uh, caused by, basically it means that your the sac around the baby swells bigger than it should do, because it fills up the liquid. Normally the baby drinks the fluid and wees it out, so basically you're full of wee in ordinary pregnancy. And uh, if it doesn't do that for whatever reason, for example, if it isn't developing properly, which is the thing that worries me most, it's, um, sorry, brain fog, difficult to concentrate. Um, it wouldn't be that worrying because, of, you know, then I wouldn't be worried about the, the risk to pinch potential human being anymore. Um, there's also, it's uh, happened because of diabetes, um, which produces big babies. I think I've got possible additional risk because you have to remember that what I'm doing is in dose, I'm dosing myself with hormonal herbs, and if one of them causes liver damage, then that can cause fluid in the abdomen. And this distension, in fact, may not be a baby at all, but actually could be liver damage. Although, I have to say as a herbalist, that that's not a big risk. It's not as big a risk as people say it is. Now, talking about the rest, my experiences, well, there's the metallic taste in the mouth. That's not as bad now as it was. I don't know if it declines. I'm um, going out today, uh, sort of aware, as sort of a car comes around a corner, sort of feeling I've got to make it across the road and I can't really run because I've got to lug this around. Worrying about fainting so I sort of feel faint, but I actually came to the conclusion that what was happening was I was feeling dizzy, but the reason for that was that the centre of gravity has shifted because if you look, I stand up, that's considerably forward of where it should be or where it would be if I wasn't pregnant. And I think probably what's happening is it's hard to adjust to that, so I sort of wander over the road and that sort of thing. And it's not actually a big problem. It's just getting used to it, really. Yeah, seeing other pregnant women or other, other pregnant people, I sort of feel like, well, you don't know that I know how this feels, and I can't ever discuss it with you. I sort of feel outside the sisterhood. Maybe I should be outside that sisterhood. This all makes me a bit sad, because I can't really share it. I suppose I'm sharing it on here. But, you know, they're just going to look at me and think I'm fat, which I'm not, by the way. I should demonstrate. I should have done before and after. I've done a before and after photo thing for a television company, which I could post in here at some point. Fat walls. This doesn't bother me in the same way. I'm not actually normally overweight. So, if you look at that. Right, see if I can get this right. The, that's not fat, 
it doesn't wobble and it's very much round the gravity is not pulling it down it's definitely not fat and in fact people who know me will realize that I'm not normally I'm sort of about 85 kilos normally which is sort of bordering on overweight and it's not fat it's something else it's a baby as far as I know Being out of breath, that's another thing. I think the reason I'm out of breath is that women, their respiratory passions, passages widen when they get pregnant and they're more able to breathe. It folds the stomach up. I'm obviously out of breath because my diaphragm's high because the baby's pushing the diaphragm up. I sort of felt a bit bad about the video I made the other day because I felt like I was just talking about it like it was a bump. I and mean, it's actually, you know, a future human being. And being a future human being shouldn't talk about it like that, so we shouldn't talk about it as a project, but as something else. Now, just to provide you with a bit of extra external evidence that I really am pregnant, if you were watching my video on the main channel 19thly, you may remember that I bought this hoodie, which is very big, because I don't normally walk around in this skin tight stuff, it's just generally supposed to demonstrate how I look. And the reason I bought that was because it covers the bumper over, and I have to say that I feel acutely self-conscious about this whole process. So if I put this on, I can hide my bum. So there you go. I look like a normal bloke, I suppose. So anyway, so it's all like that. And um, as a result, I can hide it from people, which I sort of want to. And I sort of feel a little bit like that transgressing here. I'm going to record a subscribe trailer. Um, and if you like this vlog, please subscribe and um, and you can follow this rather interesting journey of male pregnancy up to the 1st of September. I'm actually at week 18 now, I I mentioned that. Oh, and I was going to say one more thing, which is that in a way, the male body is as almost as designed for pregnancy as the female body is, because unlike most of that Rat vertebrates, we lack abdominal ribs, so this area is actually supposed to expand like this. So we will see you next week.